The Toyota anti-theft system with engine immobilizer is kind of like the ultimate nope, not today response to car thieves. It doesn't just beep at them. It quietly stops them from turning your car into their joyride. And honestly, that's huge peace of mind for people. A lot of folks think an anti-theft system is just a loud noise, but Toyota's engine immobilizer takes it way, way further. If the system doesn't recognize the chip in your key, the fuel and ignition systems are dead. The car literally won't go. Hacks and YouTube tricks about hot wiring a car? Not happening here. Even those Houdinis with a screwdriver and a YouTube tutorial are usually left staring at a dead dashboard. In the US, immobilizers have dropped car theft rates by up to 40%. That's not a typo. As someone who's had that little pit in my stomach walking back to a parking lot, I get the pain point. You're out late, you want your car to just be there. Engine immobilizers help make that expectation real, not wishful thinking. Let's get into how it actually works. Your Toyota key isn't just a dumb chunk of metal. It has an RFID chip inside. When you pop that key in, the car's system reads the chip's code. No match, no start. Simple as that. I have a friend who bought a used Camry, and the dealer only gave him a cheap copy key. Result? The car wouldn't start at all. That's the reality. No official coded key. No vroom vroom. Might sound annoying, but that's exactly what you want if a thief tries anything. There's even a dashboard indicator that lets you know the immobilizer is armed. It's often a small blinking light of doom for thieves. Every time you lock up, that system is quietly standing guard, and you barely have to think about it. But I hear from people who worry about losing all their keys. If that happens, you need to get a new key programmed by Toyota or a certified locksmith. Pro tip, get a backup made and keep it somewhere you'll actually remember. It saves a world of headache. One real pain point is the cost if you lose the original key. Programming a new one can run upwards of $200, especially at a dealership. Kind of a gotcha, but still better than discovering someone else drove off with your car for free. What about false negatives? Sometimes grime or a weak battery in your key fob can interfere with the signal. If the engine refuses to start, try another key or move your key fob around the steering column. Sometimes it's just a bad position not a system meltdown. Key takeaway, the system works quietly without that 1990s car alarm drama. If you're someone who values not having to file a police report before your morning coffee, it's a very solid feature. More peace of mind for just keeping your key handy. Whenever people ask if the feature is worth it, my answer is always yes. Especially in cities, Portland included, with car thefts up and insurance companies rewarding anti-theft devices, it's one innovation where the numbers work in your favor.